What three baits should you, yes, I'm talking to you, be using in the month of June? Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, comment below and tell me that you subbed, because I'd like to say hello. But right now, three baits, June, hot. Let's talk about it. So it is finally summertime and hopefully you're able to go fishing, but we're just around the corner from the dog days of summer. But June is a fantastic month to catch a lot of big fish. So hopefully these three baits I'm gonna tell you about and show you and talk to you will help you catch more fish in this month. So to start off, water temps are up. Temperature is getting hot. Make sure you stay hydrated and put that sunscreen on. That's the, that isn't even a key I should be mentioning. You should do that every time you go fishing. But when these temperatures start to rise, so does that water temperature. So we need to, we need to think about how we're gonna proceed with warmer waters. This is a time when offshore structure during the middle of the day is a good place to fish. But we're gonna start off with the morning when this we have a, it's just calm. The sun isn't overhead. It's still horizontal with us. This is a great time for a topwater bait. So at first light, when the sun is still down and still horizontal, you need to start using a topwater bait. This right here is one you've probably never, never heard of. It's the Zorus Asturi. Now I say this one, I use this one for many reasons. One, I like that it casts a country mile. I want to be able to cast as far as possible. In early morning in June, the bass are gonna be scattered a little bit more than normal. They're gonna be out a little bit deeper and then slowly make their way as the day gets, the sun gets up and the day proceeds that they're gonna start coming to the, to the shoreline. But early morning when it's slack calm, I want to use something that just has a great walk the dog action. I want it to just glide effortlessly over the water and this bait really does it. It's one that not a lot of people know about, but it's probably one of the best, if not the best walking bait I've ever used. Uh, this is the medium size, I don't even know what this size is, maybe this is like the 105. Uh, and it just glides, it's just back and forth and back and forth. It almost makes a 180. But that early morning bite, I want to, again, just cover water. I wanna be able to cast far, walk the dog, and just blind cast. Because like I said, those fish are gonna be a little bit more scattered right now. They're gonna move up a little bit, but right now they're scattered. So that's my first bait for June. The Zorus Asturi. Another great bait to use in the month of June, your crankbait. I mean, this is a no-brainer. This is a great bait to search as you're, as the, the day is starting to, as you're starting your day. You want to use this as also, it's also a search bait, but you want to use this early in the, not early, early morning. You want to start off with that top water, then hit the crankbait because as the sun comes up, the bass are going to go from a little bit deeper water to finding shelter. They are going to go to lily pads and under docks and that kind of stuff. You're not going to be out in the middle. They will be in the middle if there's out offshore structure, but in general, they're going to start to push their way up as the day gets going. So a crankbait is a great bait to use, you know, not early, early morning, but eight o'clock, seven to eight o'clock in that range, just as the sun starts to get overhead. This is a great bait. You'll, it's a great search bait. It's a great bait that they're going to be targeting because you're, you're still going to have small uh, shad that are, are spawning or you know, fry and that kind of stuff. So anything that can be a little bit smaller size that you can either just run it, you know, burn it in, or slowly reel it in, or let it bounce off the bottom is really a great bait. Now this one is from Thunderhawk. And uh, the reason I like this one is it, when, it dot, when it swims, it swims nose down and those hooks move up. But as you hit any cover, the hooks don't usually penetrate. In that case, it penetrated my finger a little bit, but it's meant to not do that. So if you want one, Thunderhawk Lures, I think you can use Get Your Fish on 30 and save 30% too. Saving you money too. And last but not least, it's on the rod right here. I didn't tie it on just for this video. 
This month, I'm using a eight inch worm. Now you can Texas rig it or Wacky Rig or Carolina Rig it. I have mine not pegged. Now the reason I do that is because when I want the bait, when I want when I cast, I want this to sink first and then I want this to follow it and flutter. And all I'm gonna do with the worm is I'm just gonna give it a small twitch, just a twitch and stop. I don't want it to go too far. This right now is probably gonna be one of the best baits you can use. A worm is fantastic this time of year. Now I want that also, the, the big thing you wanna remember is when this lands, you want that tail to kind of pop up. I know I'm all over the place with that. But as that tail pops up, it kind of wiggles. Look, I'm over here, come eat me. Uh, this one's the DOA 8 inch, DOA 8 inch cow, and it's one of the ones I use nonstop. But it's a great bait this time of year. So there you have it. Three baits I think you should be using this month of June. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Get out there and go fishing, guys, seriously. Thanks for everything. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Seriously, get fishing. Because next month, it's going to be hot as hell. See y'all later. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um, kids fishing.